All right, halfway house. Wednesday afternoon, we got the six seven power stroke. EGR issues, emissions issues, of course. Who would have thought? It's about four o'clock, so it's time for a uh, black cherry. Oh, that's good. Nice little holder here. So this truck's got some miles on it. It's a 2011, 2012, early one. Um, I already got the DPF uh, deleted. It's already tuned. You want to take this crap off? I don't blame them. So I'm gonna try to walk you through it. If you're thinking about doing one, uh, kind of know what you're getting into here. Uh, there's plenty of videos on this, but uh, kind of want to do my own take because I've actually I haven't done one of these in probably three or four or five years, but I've done a bunch of them. First thing, uh, well, I, I get two buckets drain your coolant, you know, because you have a secondary cooling system for this bad boy here and then your primary with your your d bag bottle there so primary is here pretty easy to get to i put a hose on it drain it in one bucket there's a hose for the other one you got your secondary oh shimmy under here um, right there that one's kind of a pain in the dick to get to if you have a stock bumper this one's not bad um what else so drain your coolant i just go ahead and drain all this shit out fuck it it's way easier because then you can start unbolting other shit and just let it go until it's fucking done um so then get your intake out of the way you can see the filter over there that piece there so this one has a, obviously an aftermarket intake so it was a 12 mil here this one's an eight and eight here um, i actually took it off in two pieces um, obviously and those are both eights pull that shit out of the way no big deal um start pulling off your coolant hoses you got one here that goes on your egr cooler you got that one that goes on your egr cooler you have this vacuum line which goes on your egr valve um let's just go up here so this is the small coolant your small coolant line two big ones sensor sensor um, then you got these are eight mils here and then you got a uh, eight mil 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 this is a 10 millimeter nut um, and then that little bracket I guess it goes here that little plastic bracket for the wiring uh, I think those are eight mils as well so you got your I guess this is exhaust back pressure um, which goes right there that's what bolts to that stud on the back of the EGR cooler it's a 10 mil um, see it's c-shaped so you don't have to undo it all the way which I didn't know I guess I guess I forgot this is a 16 so that one right there 16 16 so you can loosen that and rotate it out of the way and you don't actually have to take it all the way off. Uh, what else gets in the way here? Um, I actually took the plastic piece off there, which is what bolts here, 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 here everything you see. Uh, bolts to fucking everything. Um, because if you know these, the shallow, those two bolts always break off. I've done a bunch of these. I've actually never had one break, but they always break. Here they are right here. You can see how fucked up they get. I probably spent 20 or 30 minutes on each bolt. Just going back and forth, in and out. Uh, spraying the fuck out of the PB until they come out. So, because you don't want to drill those out. They're pan the dick. And then, you know, if you got to pull a manifold, and then you got to pull all this bullshit off and the turbo. And it's not fun. Um, I actually underquoted this big time because I forgot all about those two bolts. But... For a buddy of mine, no big deal. Um, so what else? So pull. So I pulled that, and so I mean you can see it. That plastic intake bolts to everything over here. Then all this crap up top. Obviously, I haven't routed this shit yet. This one's actually not even hooked up yet. But anyway, um, I pulled this pipe off. That one has like a circlip kind of deal, um, and then an 11 mil regular you know style clamp there. Pull that shit out of the way, and then you got to just kind of finagle it out of there. Uh, not very much fun. 
I mean, I say that, it's really not that bad. So obviously you unplug all your EGR shit, which I've got zip tied down here out of the way, kind of hidden. Um, comes with a cap to cap off your vacuum line. Comes with this bracket, I guess, for the uh, back pressure sensor. Um, actually didn't come with these hose clamps. And then it comes with this big ass hose. Um, some of them will actually, you cut it here or wherever, and then you cut that hose, because that hose goes to here. And uh, you don't have to undo it down here, because that's a, well, let's see if you can see it. Not really, it's a pain in the dick. I'll come down here. Which I was kind of worried about this part, because a lot of people say, oh, you gotta pull the, the grill, and you gotta pull your headlights to get to it. And I don't ever remember doing that, but I don't think I've really seen kits like these, but uh, you can see it. See that hose clamp that's on the hose and the hose isn't on the nipple? It's that one. It's pretty far away. So I use these, uh, these ones, double jointed. So, you know, you can have a, if you have a small throw, which you have here, you can still open it a pretty good amount and be pretty far away. So once I got the clamp a little bit loose and I just gently took the pry bar and slid her off. Um, what else? So, yeah, so then since this one doesn't have a barb, um, this has a holder still on it right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, so that's why this hose isn't off yet. But So then this, this hose goes here. And then the other end obviously goes where I just showed you. Uh, make sure it's nice and kinked like they intend. That's why they sent it this way. That's what happens when you buy the cheapest shit um, on the planet. Um, I guess that's about it. I'm pretty much ready to put this hose on and bolt the black pile of shit ugly ass intake back on. Um, put the inter we'll put the intercooled pipe on after that and then put the intake shit on. And that's about it. Fill her up with the coolant. Um, oh, I do need to put the, oh, this bracket. I forgot about this bracket. That bracket right there, it goes on these two studs. Those are 10 mils as well. I actually undid these just get them the fuck out of the way. I really don't think you particularly have to. Um, yeah, so that's about it. It'd be nice if you could pull that out of the way. But it has a, well, you can see it. It's got a bolt underneath those, those hard lines right there. So you can't even get the housing out of the way. The filter, that's the fuel filter housing. So anyway, that's basically how to do one of these. Fairly simple. Um, it's pretty frustrating, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you do have a bunch of bullshit like, uh, you know, things like these, these little tree clips. Um, this one's for the intake. Um, but uh, as you can see, you got shit like these little deals everywhere. Um, I undid these, uh, the brackets for these just to help me finagle, stupid deer, um, finagle that shit out of the way. Well, that's all I can think of now. So, it's ready to go back together. Um, yeah, that's about it. I've probably been out here two and a half, three hours, kind of just dicking around, um, if I had to do this over again, I would probably would have charged three times what I charged this guy. But he's a buddy of mine and told me he better hook me up with some beer. So, fair enough. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I've also been messing with the 7.3 out there. I don't know if you can see it. So, I actually looked at another 6.7 this morning. But anyway, busy day. The halfway house, believe it or not. Still got this pile of shit in my way. Um, yeah, halfway house. Wednesday. Oh shit, it's sitting in the sun. That's alright. Ah. So if you hate your life, work on Fords. If you work on Fords, you're going to hate your life. So, it's a vicious cycle, but occasionally you accidentally make some money uh, and you might be able to pay your bills. So, 6-7 Ferd, Hot Rod, Race Only, Deleted, Six, seven, third. I will see y'all later.